This is, on its face, a pretty serious deterrent, like seriously barbed, multiple layers of barbed wire. This is laid down. I just learned this. Thank you. Remind me your name again? Aden Cabello. Aden Good to see you. Yeah, thank, thanks for, I mean, this has been very educational. And you've seen this from the other side, the Mexican right. side as well. So this looks like a serious deterrent laid down by Texas. However, see that island behind me? So there's all of that, oh, all of that here, right? Turns out it doesn't matter. You can literally see it over there. Two people crossing right now. Two people crossing right now. In the presence of Nas a Mexican National Guard, that white pickup. That's Mexican National Guard. Correct. Two people crossing right over there right now, as we can see it. If they get to that island, they're on U.S. soil. Well, let's see what let's see what they do. Are they going to get them? So you think so, they're going to intercept them, maybe? So this is uh, state troopers. State Dr. troopers. Rabbit. So they so, might actually stop them. Correct. Let's see if they do. I just want to move up and see this. What they're so you can look right now. They're yeah. turning. Yep. It, Let's see what they do. It's, we'll just watch them and kind of see there. But so if is, that was CBP and they make it to the land, they automatically cut the bar correct. through and the barbed wire and let them in. If they're drowning, uh, you know, they'll, they'll call it a rescue and get them on their boat and take them over like we saw the, uh, that girl right. and her dad. So they're getting on the... I, I would think that... You see state police in the black pickup? There's Mexico state police. Uh, over here in the black pickup? Mexican state police. And yeah. National Guard in the white pickup. Mexican National Guard. They can't do anything to the migrants. Why? So if, as long as they have their legal documentation, yeah. they're legally in Mexico, so they can't stop them. Really? Yeah. And that's why they just walk into the river right in front of them. Do they have an incentive to stop them? I mean, in some ways, in some ways they're like, they don't. So keep example, it going, right? Yeah. So for example, the mayor of Piedra Negras. So do you think they have the boat actually intercepted those two migrants right there? Let's see if they got them or not. No, they're on the island. Right. They're on the island. You can see them, right? Yeah. Are those the people up there? Yes. So, for example, the mayor of Negras, she doesn't want to deal with migrants at all. So yeah. they're facilitating the way for them to cross over. It's like that's the United States problem. They'll actually escort them over where to cross. So this is barbed wire laid down by the state, by Texas. It does, I have to admit, look like a pretty effective deterrent. This is sharp, I promise you. However, if people get, literally walk across that half of the river, that's the Mexican National Guard over there, it's the Mexican State Police over there in the black and white pickup trucks respectively. If they're crossing over and getting to that little island, that little small strip right there, that's considered U.S. such that Customs and Border Patrol, I'm told then, actually helps cut through this barbed wire for people to enter safely. So that doesn't make sense, right? The, think about the incentive structures. Yes, this looks like a really difficult thing to navigate. Yet if CBP is cutting a passageway for people to come in, all they have to get to is that little island over there. It kind of makes the rest of this a bit of a farce. Now, so the state airboat just went to those two people who were reaching that island. I can't tell, did they get on the boat or is, are they on the island? They're still on the island. So do you think the state patrol is gonna put them back on the boat or now that they're on the island, it's now CBP? So if they get them on the boat, they would be arrested and they take, they're taken into custody. But they're not on the boat and they're not arrested right now. So the CBP would then presumably just bring them on here through safe passage, cutting through some of this barbed wire to get there. Right. So you think the reason the boat was going that fast is they were trying to intercept them before they got there? Right. Didn't make it though. Well, good for the Texas State Patrol doing their job. They're trying. Seems like the Mexican National Guard, I mean, why are they even there? I guess is one question is, yes, there's Mexican National Guard and State Police, but they're not stopping them from coming over. They, they Mexico has no incentive to stop they, them they from coming over. They have no incentive at all. So I've been on the Mexican side with them and, and I've asked them, it's like, well, we don't have the authority to, to stop them. Yeah, but why are they sitting there then? It's like, it's like an artificial disguise. I mean, it's like, it's... It's, it's mainly for US Optics. optics exactly. Okay, so, so those, those Mexican National Guard and the Mexican local police over there, they're there for you guys in the media to pretend like they care about this problem when in fact we just people watch walk in plain sight.